slashed over the top for four. Well, happy Sunday, viewers. For the last time of the season, and Andy Hunt there rolls an absolute huge moon ball, and uh, it's gone. Oh, I tell you what, that's not far off, you know. Well, there we go, Andy Hunt. Bring him on, second ball, and he gets a wicket. Fantastic. The village crickets, Ron Jeremy. It's been on a long film shoot earlier in the summer, but he's back. Well, Polfers is a tactical genius. What a, what a bowling change to bring Andy Hunt on. Not always going to work, though. A bit of extra pace there. This chap looks like he can bat, and Arian Kukraja comes on for a bowl. And look at that, hits the mark straight away. Beautiful. Shot. Well, trying to hit too much, I think. Beautifully bowled by Aaron. Just full and straight. And the Viking Weasley makes no mistake. Two bowling changes, two wickets. Tactical master, Polfers. Well, is this the last game of the season, viewers? You, you know what's happened here. What's your season been like? Where you are? Dell there. Still going. Somehow. Magnificent. Filth, but just the one. Oh, played about five shots there, the batsman. Beautiful shot there, Jason Moore, our newly crowned club man of the year. His amazing work in all aspects of the club. There he's taking his hat off and back on again. even more air, I tell you what, that's gone. That has gone. It's uh, <laughs> laughing, I think. Oh dear, can you believe it? Fabulous stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, back to Jason Moore and the awards. If you're interested in the uh, season, end of season awards, we had a dinner last weekend and we've done a new episode of Silly Point, which does feature who won what, so, uh, and amongst other things. First ball, hit away for four, nearly six. Oh, now Sandy's going to catch that. That's three wickets for Andy. Yeah, I think it's a wicket or gets hit for four. <laughs> oh dear, this is marvellous stuff. Great end of season fun. Yeah, easy to deal. Gets a foot on it. Oh, look at that arm. Ah, maybe not. Oh, well bowled. Blimey. That's a lovely ball. Full of length. That's coming in. This is a collapse of Sarnestead proportions. But it's Trinity Oxy that are doing the collapsing. Polfus has a dilemma here. I was thinking, how can I, how can I get a decent total for us to chase? The batsmen are just getting themselves out. There's only one solution to that. Bring on Dell. Lovely take. Oh, no, not going to hand. But I'm reminded of, with Andy's bowling, reminded of Winston Churchill. Uh, never before in the field of village cricketers, so much filth yielded so many rubbish wickets. And here we are, seeing it for real. Ah, ah, Ian Lemon, who's um, got a new nickname. Um, Lulu, sent in by one of the viewers out there. Good one, Lulu Lemon is a retail store, I'm told. I'm sure, I'm not sure Ian shops there. Bowling. Oh. 
huge wipe there. Interesting shot at 63 for six, isn't it? Still, it's a Sunday. Rolling. So, Croydon's one-eyed axe thrower comes on again and bamboozles everybody. Some lovely air there from Andy. Lulu picks up. Back to the Viking Weasley. And back to Ron Jeremy. Oh, that's a stumping. So <laughs> remarkable. That's four wickets. Pulses, of course, has to keep Andy on now despite the fact that um, he's in the strange position of almost needing to take to take off the guy that you brought on to give him a few runs because he's getting them all out. Sunday cricket, isn't it wonderful? I've just heard that T, Trinity Oxy, are going to rewrite their constitution and rename the club the Lemmings Cricket Club. And why not? Luca Reese on now. Good pedigree, his mum is the ladies' captain. Here, his brother is Sonny Reese, the Sanderstead Stoyness. Good little cricketer. Raw filth. Well set field though. Luca, brilliant work. Splendid stuff, look at that. Oh my word. Super stuff. Well, that was Andy's last chance to get a five for. I think he's come off. I think he's had to come off, getting too many wickets. Paradoxically, Polf was there in a quick word. So, well, too much filth, I'm afraid. Over the second, slightly wild throw from Andy, wrong end. Can't fault the enthusiasm there. Oh, oh, oh bold. Here we go. This is what the viewers want. Well, I don't know about that, it's what they're going to get. Derek, umpire completely ignoring him. I'm just not sure if this is going to work. I think Derek's going to get a couple of wickets quite quickly. Warming up well. It's going to unleash his quicker ball as it's the end of the season. Here he goes. Come on, Del. You can do it. Nicely played. Oh, that's got to go. They're very wary now, as you would be, I think. Someone like Dell comes on. Lulu loses his hat. I mean, what do you think, viewers? What would you feel about getting out to this stuff? Ooh, could have gone to hand. A couple of runs here. Long chase for the Viking Weasley. He's got an arm. Oh, beautiful arm. Look at that. It's a long way out there. Oh, look out, Polfers. <laughs> well, that's very fine. Another no ball from Dill. Double bouncer. Really. Oh, he's angry at himself. That's good. <laughs> oh, thank God that's over. Well, Max wangs it in and it's buzzers. Lovely work there from Max. Over the top, another chase with the Viking Weasley. Let's see that arm again come into action. Splendid. And another one. Four runs. T 
two down here now. We've got Andy Hunt as well. I say I'm quite nervous having footage crickets on Jeremy right next to me. I don't know what he's doing. Trudging. He's a good trudger, Dell. Look at that. Lovely trudge. He'll be happy when he gets a pint of pilgrim later. Well, Dell's got the score moving a little bit. That's good. And without the nasty business of taking wickets, as Trinity rebuild a little. Nicely picked up. Love that. Takes his hat off, throws in one action, beautiful. That extended spell from Dell. And I tell you what, Lulu Lemon takes the catch. Dell gets one, he's going to be thrilled with that. Yeah, not trudging anymore. Little handshake from the non striker. Not sure for what. Oh, he's going to, oh no, he's going to go on about how it dipped, it swung, it swerved, it bamboozled the batsman, had him in eight mines, all that nonsense. So Dell, buoyed up by that wicket. Now in search of another. I think he might get one. Putting a lot of shine on the ball for some reason. Ah. So you come in for your last bat of the season, you've got to face this. Serious question though, viewers. How would you play Dell? I'll just let the uh, I'll let the action do the talking and Del, well the, the remarkable thing is he caught one he very rarely does oh shot and chase that one lovely rather windswept Lord Handley there magnificent Arian back for a second spell oh Stu Ellery back on the Sunday 11s player of the year for this season. Ooh. And that's it. Stu Ellery gets the wicket. Quite right too. Oops. All just hit the camera. Well, that's, uh, what is it? I think 120 all out. Got to have some tea now. Oh, Andy leading, leading his own applause. So it leads the team off. Well, I think that was one of the best tees of the season from Mrs. Palfrey. And uh, Simon said now 121 to win, 40 overs. Simon Clare and Max Nelson opening the batting. I think this is not going to be as easy as it sounds, you know. I think they're good, good bowlers in this side. Bowling. off the mark. Oh, and that could be gone. And it is gone. First wicket goes. One for one. Jason Moore in at three. Father of Josh. You better see where Josh gets his talent from. I think it must be his mother. I think she's here somewhere. Oh, and that's... Oh dear, put him down, absolute dolly of a chance. There you go, punished. Oh, he's put him down. Might not be that expensive. Well, oh, I say. Was that off the glove? Top of the bat? Moving a bit tricky this bowler. Simon decides to slot one over the top. And why not? And practice never stops for the ladies captain. Wonderful stuff. What a great season our girls have had.
glorious September sunshine envelops this ground as it should, graced by a beautiful shot there from Simon. Oh, and Jason tries one too many. Well bowled, Lulu Lemon in at four. Over the top. Lovely pose there from Simon, beautiful. Ooh, shot. That stayed hit, beautiful. Nice. Ooh. Let's pass the short extra. Should be two here. Should be out. And it is out. It's got a little bit underneath that one. So that's three down now, 23 runs. Sandeep in at five. Son is going to need some runs from him today. Ooh, bit of lift there. Placement. Yeah, it's beautiful. Bit of bootage there, nice. Oh, Sandik will like this. Oh, that's uh, must have stung a bit that one. Nice little uh, routine here. That's it. Gets his hands above his head, and in he comes. Little bit of turn and bounce, but uh, lemon equal to it. So, 35 over game, it's 20 overs left. Clipped over the top, over the fielder. Lovely. Lemon slices one away to third man. Ooh, little one-handed grab attempt there. Lemon lives to go again. I got Matt Harris with me. Hello Dan. DC's wedding yesterday. Yes and that very much links into my theory. Ah what do you got? Well earlier on in the season I said the social construct of marriage. Oh you did mention that yes. And, um, now I believe it is definitely vital in society. Excellent. Everyone Good. was very happy. It brought communities together and people that wouldn't know each other otherwise. Blimey, you've thought about this, haven't you? That's very good, Matt. I, I happen to agree with you. I think it's fantastic. Good day? Very good. Um, we went up Friday um, to Warwick. Yes. A great shot. Um, <laughs> and it feels... Nice little town, isn't ago. it? Yes. Um, lovely historic. Lovely calf. Lovely oh, calf? Yeah, there was oh. a lovely breakfast. There's a lovely castle there. Oh, we didn't see that. Oh, it's great. They, they have a, a working trebuchet. Oh, okay. That shut you up. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> yes, Matt, a trebuchet is a medieval battle instrument. It's like a massive catapult. Excellent. I've they're, they're, they're yeah, they really are tremendous beasts, and they've got a working one at Warwick Castle, and they load it up with a fire-filled thing, and it's, yes, it, they chuck it about two or three hundred yards. Honestly, wow. they're, they're absolutely astonishing. Beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful piece of kit. Yeah, there you go, the trebuchet. Oh, Lemon! Oh. Lemon having a big go at one. Almost trebucheted. <laughs> He's listening to us. Any drink-relating casualties over um, the? Drake Scars fell in a bucket. Excellent. That's um, nice. Well, it's not drink -related. on the offside, presumably. Oh yeah, behind point. Sandeep's away. Just two here. 71 to win off. 17 overs at drinks. Ah, there we go. Into the wreck. Six runs. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, great fielding. Lemon out of his ground there. Could be gone. No. Just safe. Oh, and that's over the top. 
goes to hand but just shimmies off his hand. Lemon definitely getting a few slices of luck here. But then middles that one beautifully. Big old white there from Sandeep. He's eyeing up this short leg side boundary over the nets. 55 needed now off 15 overs. Very watchful there, Sandy. Picks his balls. <laughs> As it were. Carved away. Sandy hobbling a little bit. That could be out. And it is. Lemon didn't quite get hold of that. Four down now. And that's gone. Luca goes. Trying to get on with it. So, Skipper comes in, Pulfers. And he's been swashbuckling all season. And these two need 50 off 13 overs. Pulfers isn't going to hang around. That's going to be out. Oh no, it just dropped short. Just dropped short. In fact, it does more than that. That's four. That's a good shot for one. Or indeed four. Oh, you don't want to bowl there to Sandeep. Bludgeoned for a single there. Bit of a heave there through Farmers Weekly for Pulfers. Wants to, but Sandeep doesn't. 31 to win now, 10 overs. Well, Trinity Oxley, they won't contain these two, so they need wickets. Dell in next, then Stu Ellery. Now that's a big hit, that's a huge hit. That's into Pulfer's back garden. Beautiful. Sharp. Hundred up with that little misfield for four. Well, a little bit slicey there, Pulfers. Well, and whilst this is our last game of cricket for this season, uh, we will be creating more content. Myself and the Cornish Coley and Tyler will be, will be doing some uh, and why nots and that sort of stuff, sitting on the sofa talking nonsense. But we'll also, we'll do some um, montages and best ofs and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, we'll try and put something out every fortnight if not every week so keep you going through the winter and why not oh there we go that's a monster not quite no just a one bounce four big boundary out that way though matt harris beer in hand shouts of getting the gym to pulfers that should be out Ah, well done. Good call, that. Good early call, and the other fielder got, got himself out of the way, so well engineered there. Pulfers goes for the last time this season with a little swashbuckling cameo. Took us most of the way there. Well done, Pulfers, and well skippered this season. He's led some wonderful, wonderful games. Some good close ones. It's been great. Really good season. Seven to win, plenty of time, four wickets. But one of them is Derek, and here he is. Well, middle's that one. Hello, that was a big old, big old no ball way over Derek's head. He's been mused by that one. Oh, beautiful shot from Dell, just goes onto his back foot and shoves it through the covers for one. Five to win, Sandy will be looking for a big one. It's just the one. Shot for none. Back up to the windy end of the ground. Sandy, oh, he's got himself out. Now, this could be interesting. This could be interesting. Stuellery at nine. 
he'll just be looking to see it through. That's a nice hit. Oh, it's gone through for two, it's gone through for four. And that's it, that's the game. Sana said win by three wickets. What a lovely game of Sunday village fun cricket to round off the season. Always play these guys right at the end of the season, always have good games. Terrific bunch of chaps. And we're now going to make full use of the bar. It's uh, quarter to five. It's an early finish, but uh, it's getting a little chilly now. Magnificent. So that's your lot. Well, we'll next see you for a game in April. April 2024. Till then, lots of and why nots and silly points and remasters. So, pilgrim time. Cheerio.